Okay, so tonight's project is uh, working on the Lincoln. For a couple weeks, I've known that the alternator in the Lincoln's gone bad. It kind of worked, so I went ahead and put it back in so I could keep driving the car, but I knew it needed to be replaced. So, what I did is, is I'm going to upgrade from 135 amp alternator to a 200 amp alternator. This is an alternator that commonly came inside the Crown Victorious and the cop cars. It also came in the Lincoln Town Car Executives. Um, kind of like the longer version, more like a limousine. Um, I'm going to try to get this bigger alternator to run in there so I don't, you know, I'm not running the alternator right now with all the other stuff I got going on in the car at nearly, uh, you know, 90%. I think that's why the regulators are blowing out. Plus, I also want this alternator because it has a clutch built into it right here. So it has this clutch right here. And what this does is this alternator is bigger. So this clutch will allow, know, let me get, will allow the internal part of the alternator to spin at a different rate. When the motor decelerates, it'll allow that alternator to continue to spin and slow down. And that puts less of a strain on these, on the serpentine belts. That's why they have that on there. And it also helps smooth out pulses. I know that this alternator is probably gonna have a smaller pulley, but I have to measure that. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start taking this all apart. I've already gotten the battery disconnected, and I got the top cover off the top of the uh, motor, because it has this cover to make it all look pretty. So I already got that all off, so I'm gonna take off the belt now and start doing this. And I'll stop periodically and show you what I'm figuring out. Okay, so I already got the alternator in. Got it right here. And I, so I got this installed. Uh, the plug seems to click right in and it is even long enough to reach. It's not even like you have to redo it. And so I have to do this because the um, this isn't big enough. Now, I knew that that line wasn't going to be big enough when I started this whole program. I have to replace this harness right here already because this is wearing, wearing out. And so I already know I have to replace that because um, this is th this the uh, oh that good. Because the plug on there, the, the receptacle, for like 30 bucks, you can buy a whole new big cable wiring system for this and rewire it. And, and I'll show you when I do that. But the only obstacle I've come up with so far is the fact that that one bolt on the top is bigger than the one that came off. So my solution is for right now, I'm going to just drill that hole out a little bit bigger and put it on there. Hopefully, it just works. Um, I researched this for several weeks, and I kept coming across the idea that it's just gonna probably bolt right in other than that one hole. So, I'm gonna keep going. This is such an easy alternator to, re to change out. That's the reason I kind of just started doing it, and I didn't really show you how I pull it out, because it's like the easiest thing off. And also, if you search, YouTube, there's like videos everywhere. So I'm gonna keep going on this and um, I'll show you what happens here. Okay, so I just got done turning it all on. I cleared the memory out on the computer by hooding, putting the negative and the positive together. And that, so that way it'll give the computer a time to relearn and look for new things and won't set off any check engine lights. It's running smooth, pretty smooth. I think I'm so used to the old sound of that uh, regulator going out that I can't uh, do it. But uh, it seems to be working because it's holding right around 14.5. 
You can see the computer is trying to adjust it down and up. So it appears to me as if the computer is definitely running this alternator and adjusting the amperage. So uh, you really got to let these cars run for about 10 minutes to kind of like relearn how to operate with everything. So, um, so far it seems to be quite successful. Uh, got no check engine lights, so that means the computer on the car should be pretty much have recognized what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it looks, looks pretty good. It seems to be um, working just fine. So this is the old alternator here we took out. This is a 135 amp alternator. This is a 200 amp alternator. Seems to bolt right in. Uh, you still gotta take it for test drive. But uh, yeah, seems to be working just fine so far. I'm gonna go take this for test drive and come back and let you know how everything works out. Well, from what I can tell right now, I went for a good five mile, 10 mile drive. And as far as I can tell, I'm looking at the voltage and battery seems to be doing pretty good. It's charging. When I'm driving, I'm getting 14.5 volts. It's idling, it's idling right around 14.5. So, uh, and this is what it looks like it's all done. So, I call that, I'm calling that a success. Um, it definitely changed the way it, uh, it doesn't seem to be fighting for power. I think that a lot of the hesitation I was feeling when I was driving was definitely like the alternator not having enough power and the, having to pull off the battery to kind of overcome that and then it would kind of start building power. So uh, definitely change the way the car is responding. I guess only time will tell. I have to do another like a review video in a couple of weeks. Let this uh, way can let everyone know how it turned out. But as for right now, I'm going to call this a success. So um, that's the video and thank you for watching and have a nice evening.